Wenford Dries is a superb listed structure. It's a series of old uh, clay drying factory buildings in North Cornwall. The project consists of 38 uh, very, very large individual loft type houses. The main ones range from 250 uh, up to about 450 square meters per loft, almost like the original New York lofts uh, where you could get four to 5,000 square feet of internal space. So absolutely nothing like it on the market at the moment. Each one uh, is probably 14 to 16 meters wide uh, and up to 20 meters deep. Lots of top lights, big skylights, uh, ranging from four to 10 meter high ceilings throughout the buildings. The, at the front, there's a series of very large uh, residential terraces that are, that are private to each of the units that overlook the landscaped uh, gardens at the front and then eventually the river. The main structure is uh, granite built, huge downstairs living area, kitchen dining area, and then above a series of bedrooms. Towards the rear of the building is a series of enclosed gardens and also additional residential space with a, a nice glazed link that connects the old part of the building to the new extension which sits within the walled garden. Beyond that there's a home zone muse which allows the whole front landscape of the building to be car free, uh, very tranquil, very beautiful and gives you car access from the rear and then completely pedestrianised and, and uh, cycle friendly access to the front. We were amazed um, just how close it is and, and accessible it is. Just off the A30, which is a fast link from uh, the M5, the local village is Blissland, and the building sits at the bottom of the valley uh, next to the River Camel. And it's approximately six to seven miles off the North Cornish coast and about uh, 12 to 13 miles from Padstow and Rock. The site is uh, an area of outstanding natural beauty. Uh, also surrounded by Triple SI, uh, which is a site of uh, special scientific interest. It has an incredible heritage. It's the centre of the old uh, Cornish China clay industry and was linked to Padstow and the Camel Estuary via the old railway. The old railway line has now been converted into a beautiful cycle ride that uh, links the site all the way through to Padstow. It's a really beautiful ride, it follows the river all the way. We discovered the buildings with Spencer in 2008 and we were just absolutely enthralled by the quality of the buildings and the spaces inside.